Hey everyone, mango 7 roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to the calendar update. I wasn't going to make a new video today. I had no plans of doing it. I was actually in the middle of changing my UI so that it was uh, stream viable for summoning because we're summoning Valentine's tonight. By the way, um, uh, hyping that up too. We're summoning tonight at 11 uh, on our Twitch stream, which is in the link below. Uh, that's not what I'm here to talk to you about though. Uh, we're here to talk to you about this calendar here. And I just want to get this out really quick since a lot of people don't see these things right away. Not everybody refreshes Reddit all day, not everybody's in a Discord, but I know a lot of you um, do refresh videos all the time. So there is that, and here's this for you. We have the new calendar, which is in-game too, and honestly, like, I don't notice these things being shown in-game until somebody else posts them. Like, there needs to be a notification or a pop-up or something, because their current view of uh, just showing it to us hidden in there is not good enough for me. Um, luckily, everybody else finds it for me. Anyway, let's go through things here. We're going to go color by color by color. First color we have is green. Um, let's look at the summons. These are the exciting parts, right? The ones you want to really get into. Um, the first one there from uh, the 2nd to the 16th. This is a 4-star and 5-star hero summoning focus. Um, this is another one of those banners. Like before, I'm guessing like the skill fodder. Maybe they'll change it up. Uh, maybe judging by how many people full pulled or their feedback on that banner, they will make it better. Um, but not something I plan on spending my orbs on. We also have the Legendary Hero Summoning event. This happens on the 27th to the, to the 4th. And these are pretty far um, in advance too. I'm just noticing this now. This is over a month in advance. Some of these things are actually a month and a half um, in advance, which is awesome. I love seeing these calendars. They're my favorite thing in the world. So we have that happening at the end of the month. Uh, we can cross our fingers, depending on if you're happy or sad about it, that Fiorm is going to be replaced by another Legendary Hero. Um, now that we have this new map that's coming in that, that is uh, Legendary Heroes specific, then who knows, maybe maybe they're going to start just plowing them onto us. Um, one thing I'm thinking about is with that new dungeon, we're getting so sidetracked here, but with that new dungeon, I'm hoping like one floor you have to bring Fjorm and her buddies, one floor you have to bring um, Gunther and her buddies, one floor you have to bring Lyke and his buddies, and that sort of thing, and that kind of encourages them to give us it for free. So here's hoping, here's hoping, here's hoping. Um, next up there, after that one here, we have the Summoning Focus New Power. Uh, I have not looked at any comments on this, I've just looked at this uh, notification and that's it so far. I have to assume these are going to be the new units, I have to assume we're going to get like the Sheeta, we're going to get um, the Raven, uh, which is so funny that Raven's going to be on a banner and people are going to pull for him. Um, all those types of units, maybe Felicia, I'm not entirely sure, but I have to imagine new power means these new units that just got buffed. Um, also to note, uh, there's Falchion under there, that's why I did not um, combine Alm into this one. We also have the new hero summoning event from the 8th to the 21st, this one I'm really excited about. Uh, there's actually two of these, one for the 22nd, or 21st to the 8th, and one from the 8th to the 21st um, of February and of March. These ones are super exciting, I'm hoping they're brand new units, we'll see what they are. Uh, I don't think there are any um, seasonal things they would mention if it was seasonal or limited or special or something like that. So these are just new units added to the game. Uh, there's no real real way to figure out what these might be until we see what this Grand Hero Battle above is. Um, so for now, it's just up in the air what we're going to get. We also have Summoning Focus Red. Uh, summoning Focus Falchion. There's going to be all the Falchions, we can only assume. Um, Alm is going to be in there, which a lot of people really want Alm now. So is Lucina. So is maybe Mass Marth. Maybe they'll do something like that. You never know. Um... Anyway, next on down here, let's go to the different channels, different colors, Tempest Trials, Breath of Destiny. Uh, this is a full Tempest Trial, this is not a mini Tempest Trial, it goes for, um, what is it here, two weeks. Uh, really happy about this, I love Tempest Trials, and the more Tempest Trials I have, the more content I have to do. So until we get content fixed, then I'm happy about this. Um, we have Special Maps, Shadow Dragon, which is really exciting too, no idea what this is either, I don't really know what any of this is, but it's exciting to see things coming. Um, I can only hope that these are something good. Uh, maybe these were the maps that are legendary only. Uh, either way, maybe, maybe it's fun. Hopefully it's fun. Maybe it's a different type of game mode. Maybe it's just another boring map where it's just done in five minutes and orbs. I guess we'll see. Uh, but it's going for a long time, so we have to imagine there's some sort of content in here. We also have a bound hero battle of Corrin and Azura. If you can see behind me there, Azura, Corrin. Um, excited for this. I'm really, really, really excited for this. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll see some new things, but I doubt it. It'll just be a just basic bound here battle with, with some orbs rewarded. Uh, I'm really excited for it though. I love both those units. 
We then have ooh, the sneaky surprise. We have Grand Hero Battle, question mark, question mark, question mark. Who's it going to be? I don't know. I, I've only seen a couple um, couple people that I, I have not seen in this game yet. For example, in Fire Emblem 7, um, it could be somebody like Lim Stella, maybe. Th this is all I know, so that's all I'm going to bring up. Um, or, or the other dude. I forget his name at this point, but he's real rude. Uh, we killed him anyway. Uh, spoiler alert. Um, so here's hoping something like that. I would love some a unit like Limstella in this game. And we are getting a ton of FE7 stuff recently, um, specifically with these last Valentine's banner. Um, so maybe they're they're going to keep that that going into the future. Uh, could be wrong there, but I really hope if it's FE7, then then somebody like Limstella would be fantastic. Next up, we have the voting gauntlet for six days only, which is kind of weird. Or is that normal? I'm not sure. I remember it lasting longer than that with another question mark, question mark, question mark. So I can only assume that ties into the Grand Hero battle. Um, but after that, I really have no clue. We also have the revivals there, Arvis and Zephiel. We already know about that. Uh, what's the next color here? Colorless. So we have three hero quests, which are basically just what we have now. Um, not very much content in there. It's kind of annoying to do even. Um, but it makes me use different units, which is fun, I guess. Uh, I guess it would be more fun if there was different places to use those fun units instead of just training stratum. Um, I think that would enhance these quests. For example, if these three hero quests um, aligned with Tempest Trials and you got the quest complete through the Tempest Trials, that would be amazing and actually fun. Um, next up we have quests battling with Fiorm. This one's going to be the best for me because I love Fiorm and she is in um, sharing with the Tempest Trial there as well. I can only imagine um, we'll get to do those quests in the Tempest Trial. They better not be two, two ten, ten, ten stratums in a row with the with Fiorm, or um, do the tenth stratum nineteen times with only two people in your party, um, or something ridiculous like that. I really hope they don't do us like that because that's so lame when they do that. A at the bottom, we have Water Blessing quests. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. I want more water blessings. I want more blessings. I want all of the blessings. You guys want all of the blessings too, especially with these. Um, new things that you can only bring people with blessings in on. Uh, so super excited on that as well. Uh, hopefully that's what that is. I might be wrong. And yellow. Yellow's the last, last one here. These are just free orbs. You get Tempest Trial login bonus, uh, new hero celebration login bonus, um, make that twice, and voting gauntlet login bonus. Uh, so there we go. There is, I love how I accidentally clicked on this on the end. Ooh, Japanese. Um, there we go. That's about all we're getting for this month. This seems like a lot, and usually they slip stuff in that isn't on the calendar as well, so we can always look forward to that. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much. Feel free to join us in the Twitch stream tonight. Uh, it will be in the link below. We will be summoning um, for the Valentine's banner, and uh, have a great day. Bye now, guys.